that relationship between food and art is important. Having a show, doing a dinner in a gallery, or actually having artworks hung in the restaurant, that mix of food and art, it sort of brings people together. cooked, run restaurants, collected art uh, for many years. All of the artwork in the restaurants is artists that I know, whether it's Soho or the Chop House or here. In the tram shed, you know, the artwork becomes an important part of the restaurant. The Sotheby show is really going to be similar to sort of putting a menu together. You're using ingredients that you like, you're using artists that you like, that have worked with in the past. The mixture of ingredients, whether it's sculpture, paintings, drawings, is crucial to the sort of end result. Here we are in the Tram Shed Library, playing around with our dishes for the Sotheby's Contemporary Curated Dinner. The menu is probably very much going to reflect what's hanging on the walls. There's a few dishes I've got in mind. A good friend of mine, Steve Clayden, who's an artist, was telling me about this amazing black pudding dish that he used to eat in one of his favourite bars in Berlin. This dish that was called Heaven and Earth. And this is a classic Hicks dish? Yeah. And this will be the artist-inspired first course. That's a great combination. The thing I sort of liked about the Marcel work was the sort of humour of hunting, because I think, you know, hunting can be quite controversial. It's quite intricate, the signature. How do you yeah. write that small? Gary, he's one of those sort of East End artists that I've known for years. Intricate but sort of simple uh, sculptures with interesting colours. The great thing with Craig Martin's work is that you can relate to those very simple objects depicted in a very uh, simple way with interesting colours. Interesting in material as well. It is. I've never seen that before either. Harlan's work is about having fun and challenging people. Everyone gets involved in this crisis. The crisis could have many meanings to it. A lot of Tim and Sue's work is based on themselves. Those shadows would most certainly be Tim and Sue. I lived in Shoreditch for about 20 years, so a lot of the young galleries at that point, and a lot of the artist studios were in Shoreditch, and sort of got to know them through hosting parties. I thought it'd be a good idea to do a gallery space. And then the Hicks Award came about, why don't we sort of just go back to art colleges, get a good sort of panel committee together, and give these guys a little platform. Contemporary curated, I think, it's a great thing to be involved in. And from my point of view, you know, choosing artists that I know, including Hicks Award winners, Joshua Raz, for example. This particular piece, it's three pieces in one, uh, which very much relates to, you know, the three ingredients on a plate. Exactly what we do, really, in the restaurant. This is my first opportunity ever to curate something with people that I know and I've had relationships with, parted with. I think when you actually know them, you can relate the work much better to uh, what's on the canvas. Mm -hmm.